This is how the servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, after Bakhmut, spent their weekends. They are used for the defense of the city for several days. Then they are changed. These short rotations were introduced so that the military could rest, recover and learn new tactics for defending positions. Exercises take place at one of the training grounds in the Donetsk region. Vodeslav, the commander of the assault company, he has been serving in the armed forces of Ukraine for three years and has taken part in many battles, including in the Kherson area. He says Bakhmut is practically destroyed. Ruins, nothing else there, everything is destroyed. To build there, it is better to build a new city aside, constant shelling. But we have a lot of experience, we already know how to behave during these attacks. Because we know when, what and how. Andriy is 24 years old. He has been at war since February 25th last year. Before the full-scale invasion of Russia, he was engaged in construction in Poland. Andriy tells how last month he almost died during the fighting. He was saved by a helmet. We went on the assault and I saw two machine gunners firing. I decided to shoot one a little bit. Well, the machine gunner, another soldier, shot me in the head. I fell, put my hand on my neck, there was no blood. Well, I went on shooting. I gave my helmet to the volunteers in memory. Exercises for the military at the training grounds in the Donetsk region are now a regular practice. Fighters are forced to constantly hone and improve their skills. Now we have made an imitation of the assault. The guys have worked out the assault on the dugout trench. Of course, we arrived, people dug it up the way it should be in the firing. With drones flying in positions, we looked to make sure that the trench was really the same and that it was as close as possible to the firing. They made such an imitation of this dugout. They worked out the assault on the trench with an assault group, a maneuvering in group covering. Those one group covers, the second one enters and also begins to clean up the enemy already. And at the moment when the situation has stabilized a little and the unit already knows whether there is someone in the dugout or not, HE and smoke grenades are thrown in order to disorient the enemy and also to finally make sure that we have destroyed the enemy and anti-personal mine is thrown there. The Russian army is trying to capture Bakhmut every day and also block the only highway leading to the city. To do this, they use both infantry and all available weapons, including aircraft. The servicemen of the Airborne Assault Brigade claim that they did not move a meter away from the highway and the city continues to be Ukrainian. There are fights for every street and every residential building in the city. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Anastasia Volkova, UATV News.